Hey everyone, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, we're back with our PowerShell series. This time we're going to talk about uh, Git member. So we've gone over how to find the commands, uh, how to find help on the commands you're, that you're using. Now we figure it's probably best to find out more about the information that you're grabbing. Uh, a, a quick way to do this would just be with, uh, we'll use Git process. And we pipe that into Git member, which is just its own command. Can't do an underscore, it's got to be a hyphen. And from there, we can, we can see it has a lot of information here. You can see the data type is process. And you can see things like alias properties, which are obviously just aliases. Uh, methods, which are actions you can do to the data you have. Uh, properties, which is the information that it finds. Or script properties, which are properties where it does some PowerShell to the property you found. It's just kind of four quick things there. But you can see from process, you have, you can get CPU or company or description. You can find all kinds of information right there. Uh, the reason this is important, if you're using like a command line to use an IP config, it's just going to give you a flat file, a bunch of text in there. But this one object, if you're doing process and you just want to know the name of the process or the session ID, if you want to kill that process by ID, you have it right here, a session ID where you can pull that out of the object that you grab and, and do information from there. <clears throat> All right, uh, so now that we have that, uh, for the next examples, I'm going to be using Active Directory tools. Uh, if you're on uh, Mac or Linux, uh, obviously you're probably not using Active Directory, but the, the theories are all the exact same. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab my absolutely real AD username, uh, JDog Hambo. All right, you can see when we run that one, the F8, we come back that we have. Uh, all kinds of information, given name, JDog, the full name, uh, the object class, SID right there. There's a lot of information that it returns, but if we pipe that into git member, and don't hit enter, but F8, you can see it comes back there. Once again, we have our uh, object type is AD user, and then you can do things like contains equals, uh, it has all the properties that it did find that you saw there. Uh, there's still some things you're missing, like what if you wanted to change some stuff? Uh, sometimes git member doesn't return everything. If you do force to the end of that, then it gives you uh, the full list of commands you can have. So you have things like git sid, git username, or you can even uh, set enabled or various things. It gives you options that you can do from there. Uh, but as we know, git is how we grab it, but what if we want to do something to it? Uh, well, we know that the type that we grabbed earlier was AD type. But if we do uh, git help for set AD user, you have to type that correctly. And we're looking for the parameter of identity. You see it comes back there, identity, it says basically it's accepting an AD user. So anything that I grab with git AD user if I pipe that into set, it's going to accept that uh, input in there, whether it's by distinguish name, GUID. So it first looks for the type, then I'll go down to the property that it needs to fit and will automatically fill that in for you. Uh, this is, a lot of times it makes sense, get AD user works with set AD user, but if you like do a get credential, it's going to create a PS credential object, which can be used in lots of areas. And you just, it's a good way to know what data you have and whether or not you can just send that right into without having to worry about uh, making any changes or calling out uh, specific data. <clears throat> All right, so that, that's just a quick way of uh, the, the, the set ID. But now, as we saw with the properties, there was a name. Let's uh, go in and see what happens if we specify just that property. You can see that it gives you the actual proper name. But if you do uh, get member again, Uh, you, you can see that it over here is the it is a system string. So within that AD user object that we grabbed, we're looking at the property name and the object type of, of that one is a system string. So y y we have uh, data types within data types. So you really need to, to dive in. If you're not sure what you have, everything you need right here will give you exactly what you need. All right. <clears throat> so now that we have all of that, what if we take my name here? We found it. We pipe that into disable-ad account. 
just like that, I've disabled my, uh-oh. Josh? 